Now, I was raised in an alcoholic household. I was adopted at three days old. My father was abusive, shrank that had everybody addicted to drugs and all that stuff. And I've probably taken, it is an equality, but Probably four or five thousand Roar 714s and 712s. Not a drug addict, an alcoholic. And um, and I grew up with the pharmacy jars, like thousands of. Demerols and Percodan, morphine and Placidril, Elevil and Dexedrine, Black Beauties and Darvon, and that's how I was raised. But I mostly stuck to the alcohol. And I've tried everything. Um, cocaine, speed, heroin, PCP, mushrooms. Stuff that I bought that I didn't even know what it was on the street. Stuff that I had at parties that I didn't even know exactly what it was. I've been to acid parties where they, they have a psychedelic band playing and instead of having a keg of beer, they have a keg of... One's got mushroom tea and the other's got acid tea and it's like a buck a cup. Been to those. And um, predominantly, or shall we say genetically, an alcoholic. My mother and father were sober alcoholics, and then my sisters, three of them, are drinking themselves into the grave. I mean, some are binging their way into the grave, so it takes a little longer. And then the others are a little heavier, and they're working their way into the grave. I guess we all really die anyways, you know. No matter what we do, no matter what type of life we live, no matter how rich we are, how many movies we're in or not, or whatever we do, you know, how much money we got, it doesn't, you know. But uh, in my family, and then within myself, I mean, I had everything at disposal, at my disposal, all the drugs under the sun, I always went back to the, the booze. And so it's basically genetics. So I'm part Native American or American Indian, however you want to look at it. Irish and then Norwegian and Italian. But uh, I'm genetically basically an alcoholic. And I, I don't know why I have an ego about this. I don't know why, but I 
do because I had like the connections and the best coke around they can have and I've tried that and I didn't really get addicted to it and the, the best opiates that you can get that money can buy and I didn't really get addicted to that and everything it was mainly the alcohol was the thing that I had the struggles with it's like no matter what drugs I did I could generally remember what I did but with the alcohol it would like just erase what I did out of my memory I mean total blackout no recollection of what I did and people telling me, filling in the blanks of my story. And then I got years that are just, yeah. I don't know if I'll ever be able to accept that. I take, I have so much guilt that I can't remember what I did for some years. And then I, in my, I had seven years sober at one time and I thought, well, you know, they would tell me in AA, oh, you'll get those memories back, you know, if you stay sober long enough. And I just never, I have years I can't account for in my life. That's kind of bizarre. Like normal people or a lot of people, they can recall what I, what they did this year and what they did that year and what they did in their life. And I, I have years where I can't. years and even when I had seven years sober which was the longest I've had you know I mean some obviously was PTSD but from studying the, the psychology and everything I've studied and the modern medications for people do things and they can't remember or whatever you know like blackout drinking or whatever I had like blackout years and all I can figure is that Normally, your chemical memory in your brain and your synapses send a memory into a certain area and then it like it stays there and something. But because I threw my total brain chemistry off by drinking and all that, those memories probably just went down the toilet when I went to the bathroom or something. But I got like years that I don't know. But I can sit and I can have a coherent conversation with you, function, get up and look at the camera, see how much time I got on it, function in life. But I have years on this planet that I have no idea about. And I don't know if I ever will, because I had seven years and I figured, you know, at that point, it, everything's way out of the system and your brain's healed and I was eating a good diet and exercising and all that stuff. And the only thing I can figure out, like they say, well, like I've studied or whatever, is they just didn't get recorded. I guess I just have to let that go because I have no control over it and there's nothing I can do. So I live on this planet with other people and I just act the way they act and I talk the way they talk and walk the way they walk and function. And I think it's all 
I mean, nobody really notices. I'm just the only one that really knows deep down inside that I have years that I have no idea what, where, who, when. It's not the PTSD. I mean, the PTSD is obviously for some stuff, but I recovered that and I knew why that was there. When your mind, you have an experience that is so freaking horrible that it would blow your mind. So what your mind does is a protective mechanism. It just shuts that memory and slips it over into a different part of your brain. But in my case, that's not all about that. That's about, I was so freaking hammered and drunk for so many years that the recording just didn't record. I guess maybe I should have got a camera and had it with me my whole life. And then it would have <laughs> then it would have recorded all that stuff because I didn't get it. I, I don't know, I have I just need to work through that. I've had insecurity about that for years. And jealousy that I hear other people talk about, I did this at that year, and I did this, and this happened in my family, and this in a reaction here and that, and I had this job there, and, and all that, and I don't. So I guess I'm talking at a deep gut level that I tried fitting into the, no, I didn't. I could read the newspaper when I was like uh, three. And I could understand it and nobody taught me. I just saw it laying on the floor and for some reason I just, I could understand it. And I just, I remember the pictures and the story and I just thought what a messed up place. Were my first memories from the media, but the news is always going to be negative. It was a newspaper, but I just, I thought I was in a really screwed up planet. Which we all are in, in at a very young age. And then I just never bought into the stuff that they were teaching me. I never, when they would tell me this is this and this is this because this is this, I would question it. And that caused problems in school and my ability to learn and everything because I am the type of person that I had to see something tangible. Um, not just told to me, I had to see it, I guess, in 